everybody and this is a video on the Apache tribe of Texas. I'm going to tell you the facts and the artifacts of their tribe. Okay, first their home territories was the Great Plains region in Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and Oklahoma. Those were their territories. They're also known as a they're also known as Apache, and that means enemy. Their native name means people. Their language, the two top languages are Lipin and Mascarello. Their, hero, their top hero was Jernigo. The Apache dominated almost all of the west of Texas and reached over a wide area from Air Kansas to Arizona. Two groups of Apache were prime importance in Texas, namely the Lippins and Mescaleros. They were among the first Indians, the first American Indians to learn to ride horses and lived a nomadic existence following the buffalo. They also farmed growing maize, beans, and pumpkins, and water. In 1700, the Comanche invaded Apache Indian, the Apache Indian tribes. They were pushed further to the south of Texas, pushed away from their territory. Their territory stole. They split into two groups, one moving to the south, the Olympians, and the other moved to the west, the Mescaleros. They refuged in Spanish missions against the Comanche, protecting the families. But the Spanish missions got them into slavery. The, na the, the Native Americans were, were stuck, serving for the Spanish missions as they got tricked into slavery. Thousands died due to malnutrition and diseases poor and poor living conditions. It was a sad time for the Apache. Now let me show you some of their artifacts. First, here is their religious artifact, the dream catcher. It, it says that all the bad dreams go into the central bead, and all the good dreams float down out of the feathers into your head to give you good dreams. They're usually made out of wood and hay bale, but in modern times they made them out of copper wire in these modern times. Also, another one, my other, my bow, my arrow, my other artifacts. Now, the bow here were made, the bows were mainly made out of hickory and elm, those two types of wood, the strongest wood. They made the bow so easily to, easy to use and so unbreakable that it was the best material to use. For arrows and boots. Now, at the time in 1500s, they didn't have iron tips on arrows because they didn't know how to make iron, how to smelt it. So they made wooden tips that were as sharp as possible. Now, they also had their hat. It differs between the cultures. It's believed that the, the, that the Indian headdress, the American Indian headdress, was worn by the brave and the and the powerful. It is believed that the six Indians were the create the first creators. But then all the other tribes thought of using them. They they used they were around your head like exactly like this. 
they didn't actually look exactly like this as colorful, but this is the exit. But this is the model of how they looked. And that was my video of the Apache Indian tribes. Now, goodbye!